Welcome back to Trinity Talks and this brand new week. And hopefully you had a great day celebrating your moms yesterday. In my daily devotions, I am now reading the book of Hebrews. And on Friday morning, while reading chapter 10, verses 24 and 25 just seemed to jump up at me. It's funny how that happens when you're reading the Word of God. This is what these verses say. Let us consider how we may spur one another on toward love and good deeds. Let us not give up meeting together as some are in the habit of doing, but let us encourage one another. And all the more as you see the day approaching. If we were to continue reading in that chapter, verses 32 to 34, we would learn that these Jewish Christians had suffered greatly. They were persecuted. Their properties had been confiscated. Some went to prison. Others were killed for their faith. But now, decades later, their joy and faith seemed to be wavering. This book was written to them to help prevent that falling away and to encourage them to continue in the way of Jesus. We are presently in our ninth week in lockdown. Discouragement is setting in. It's a long time to be isolated and not able to socialize with friends and family. We were created social beings and enough is enough, we want out. But for our own safety, we must comply with the government's request. So let's take to heart as to what the Hebrew writer is saying to do. Let us consider how we may spur one another on toward love and good deeds. It's time to rekindle that desire to, to love. To love is a verb. To love means there is action, a demonstration of kindness and of good deeds, of self-sacrifice and so much more. Why not call someone you are missing from church and, and let them know that you are thinking of them? Remember those people who sat around you in the, in the pew, just down the aisle? Well, why not call one or two of them and ask them if they have been watching the Sunday service? Perhaps you can invite them out to the online prayer meeting afterwards. Perhaps a few of you would like to start your own small group. Just get in touch with Pastor Paul and he'll help you get started. I thought it was interesting that Pastor Paul yesterday encouraged us to become part of the culture of invitation. And this is exactly the theme for today's devotional. Bake someone a cheesecake or some cookies and surprise them by dropping it off at their house. Perhaps you can cook a meal for someone who hasn't been well or for a new mom who is feeling a little overwhelmed with her new responsibilities. We can encourage one another by these small acts of love and good deeds so that no one feels left out, lonely, discouraged, and tempted to walk away from the faith. Just as we are growing in our relationship with Jesus, we need to continue to grow in community with each other despite the lockdown. Verse 25 concludes with these words, let us encourage one another and all the more as you see the day approaching. Let's do exactly that. Encourage one another in creative ways. I'm not certain how long this lockdown will continue, but one thing I am certain of is the fact that the return of Jesus is a whole lot closer than we think all the more reason to maintain fellowship with God's people, lockdown cannot stop us.